So, a recent survey confirmed that dating apps are now the number one way to meet a new partner. So this morning, we're asking you to tell us about your experience of dating apps. How do you feel about them? Does the thought of online dating make you nervous? Give us a call this morning and tell us your online dating stories. Piss off. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. My house is on fire. House is on fire. But I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm not gonna cry because everything's fine. Uh huh. Yeah. I could do that. No problem at all. What sort of budget do you have? Yeah, that'll be absolutely fine. Uh-huh. And chat through the brief on a Zoom call. OK. About 11? Yeah, that'll be fine. Great. OK. Thanks, Donna. Speak to you shortly. OK, bye. Oh, yes! <sighs> 300 quid. <laughs> OK. No way. I love computer games. Oh, yeah. I just can't get enough. Uh -huh. There is no better way to while away the hours. Pac-Man or Temple Run. Oh, yeah. Tetris or Candy Crush. Uh -huh. Since I was seven. Super gaming power. My parents, I really had to respect them when they bought me my first ZX Spectrum. Hours spent on Robin Hood and Frogger and a weird little game called Hot Dot Spotter. But I soon upgraded to an NES and I could feel my heart beating out of my chest. I knew I'd be spending a long hot summer with a sexy mustachioed Italian plumber. I am a Mario. I am a Mario. I am a Mario. Girl, 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 girl. I am a Mario. I am a Mario. I am a Mario. Kinda obsessed, I wouldn't leave my bedroom, I wouldn't get dressed, I was fully engrossed, I didn't need no friends, my social life was in a world called Sims. Months, saving up for Zelda 2, two years, trying to catch a Pikachu, I didn't intend to get so hooked, but this Nintendo got me good. I'm a grown up now, I play grown up games like Scrabble Go, but it's not the same, cause I still have urges that I just can't fight, like following him down a big green pipe. And sure, I could be more productive, but each new app's just so seductive, Farmville, Minecraft, where do you start? Oh damn, they made a new Mario Kart! I am a Mario. I am a Mario, I am a Mario Girl, 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 girl Don't need no Romeo, no Michelangelo I am a Mario Girl, 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 girl
Shit. Shit. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, God. Oh, you absolute idiot. Oh. Oh, it's fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> Hi. What are you doing? You haven't played me back at Scrabble. I just smashed you with a tasty triple word score. Are you excited? <sighs> oh, you had that big call this morning, didn't you? How did it go? Did you get the big contract? Um... No, I totally messed up because of these bloody apps. I just need to turn the notifications off. Do you know how I... You numpty. Speaking of apps, while I was waiting for you to play me back, I signed you up for online dating. Oh, you didn't. And you've matched with loads of women. Let me send you the login and you can have a look. Come on. I told you, I don't need this. And I bloody hate dating apps. Come on, I've just sent you the link. Oh, God. Oh, for God's sake, that photo's from about 15 years ago. You can't use that. But you look good in that. Yeah, because I was about 25. I'm nearly flipping 40 now. You're conning people. Oh, come on, you haven't changed a bit. Anyway, you've got loads of matches. Have a look, see if there's anyone you like. Hang on, what have you written in my bio? Oh, God, busy entrepreneur? Seriously? You do run your own business now. Barely. Seeks Scrabble-loving somebody to share fun times with. Loves cats, computer games, photography and a full fridge. Grammar geek and Nutella aficionado. Hates big grey seaside attractions. Sums you up perfectly. You're a nightmare. We just have a look. Come on. <sighs> okay, fine. No. No. <sighs> Just see who you like the look of and then send them a wink. Oh God, this one's written her bio all in capital letters. I can't stand that. Just don't worry about what she's written. Just look at the photographs and pick a few. And this one has an intolerance to cheese. That's a big no. Oh God, just pick one you fancy. It doesn't matter if I fancy them or not. Most of these profile pics have been photoshopped beyond recognition or they're at least 10 years out of date as you've proved. If I've got to do this, let me at least see what they've got to say for themselves. Online dating is not for me I've always found it hard to take it seriously Cause you're never sure if who you're chatting to Is who they say they are or if they're catfishing you With profile photos from days gone by It's kinda hard to tell just what they really look like And in their bios some people write Some of the weirdest things to try to get you to swipe right I'm really not that keen to swipe right Swipe right. Come on, don't be such a grouch. Give it a go. How about this one? She looks nice. Hello there, my name is Destiny. I really love my job here on the i360. It doesn't matter if you're scared of heights. I'll sweep you off your feet if I could get you to swipe right. I'd really love you to swipe right. Swipe right. Okay, okay, maybe not that one. Mm, what about this one? What about Abigail? Hello there, me name is Abigail. I love to spend me Sundays at the car boot sale. I could be the bargain that you're hunting for. I'll even let you rummage round inside my drawers. No. Well, hello, my name is Jennifer. And I'm a Scrabble fan and a photographer. My favourite movie is Forrest Gump. And I'm a huge supporter of Donald Trump. Swipe right. Not a chance. He's a shining light. Swipe right. No, thank you. But the election was stolen from him. No, what is wrong with people? Do you see what I mean? I mean, seriously. Where is the excitement of meeting someone at a bar? Being introduced at a Christmas party where you can feel that magic spark. Bumping into someone at a bus stop. Running them over with your car. That romantic moment. 
is that too much to us? I mean, it's possible, but it doesn't really happen like that anymore. Come on, get with the program. Hello there, I am Felicity. I like to spend my time at the library. I like a good romance and I could be your lover. There's more to this book than just its cover. No. Well, hello, my name is Tabitha. I'm a mean and moody singer-songwriter. Frequently mistaken for KD Lang. I made four girls cry the last time I sang Swipe Right. No! What's wrong with her? Oh, lesbian singer-songwriters are so clichéd. No one wants to hear your Alanis Morissette covers on the beach at sunset. No thank you. I'd really like you to swipe right. It isn't happening. Swipe right. She really wants you to. Swipe right. You're really not my type and nothing that you do is gonna get me to swipe right. Well, as usual, you're being incredibly picky. We're never going to find you a girlfriend at this rate. Well, for the millionth time, I'm not looking for a girlfriend. Just have a proper look at least, will you? You never know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not promising anything. I'm busy anyway. Clearly not that busy. Okay, fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. My house is on fire. House is on fire. But I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm not gonna cry, cause everything's fine. Everything's nice. Everything's nice. Everything's nice. Everything's nice. Yes, it will suffice. It will suffice. Cause everything's nice. Everything's nice. I need your advice. Everything's nice. Exactly as planned. Exactly as planned. You must understand that everything's grand. Oh yeah, it is. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. My house is on fire. My house is on fire. But I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm not gonna cry. Cause everything's fine. 